So there are lots of problems of going into space. The first thing that we noticed when we started to send people into space was wasting of the muscles and bones. And that's appropriate because uh, the skeleton is no longer supporting your weight against gravity. So it's not the whole skeleton that wastes, uh, it's the weight-bearing region, so your heels, the neck of your femur up here, uh, and the lower back. There's a lot of bone wasting there, and with that goes muscle wasting, because as anyone who's even looked at a gym knows, if you don't use it, you lose it. On top of that, there are other slightly less predictable changes. So your heart, which itself is a muscle, and the system of vessels that goes with it, uh, also undergo a bit of deconditioning. Uh, usually, your heart has to cope with the fact that you go from lying to standing and stops you from fainting when you do that. But all those reflexes go away when you spend enough time in space. So when you come home, if you stand quietly in a corner and you're an astronaut, you're going to end up in a heap on the floor. Then there are the things that are not so intuitively obvious. So in your inner ear, there's a system, a very fine system of accelerometry. It detects accelerations and lets you know where you are in space. Uh, and that system appears to need a reference, and that reference seems to come from gravity. When you go into space, you lose that reference and the system goes rather haywire. What that actually means for the astronauts is that for the first 48 to 72 hours in space, you feel sick or you actually are sick. That goes away, but it's replaced by disorientation uh, and illusions of movement and problems with hand-eye coordination. Finally, most recently, but probably most seriously, they've noticed this slightly bizarre phenomenon of an increase in pressure in your brain. Uh, and that's enough to cause problems with changing the shape of your eyeballs badly enough that you need some assistance with your eyesight, perhaps some eyeglasses. No one is really sure why those changes to the brain, that increase in pressure, that change in vision actually happens. It doesn't happen with all astronauts, it doesn't happen with all missions, it tends to happen with the longer duration missions and it doesn't affect everybody equally. Whether or not it poses a problem for longer duration missions, so beyond low Earth orbit, going back to the Moon and onto Mars, is anybody's guess.